An extra five bucks, he might wreck this guy into the dirt. <laughs> I have no idea either. We went the wrong way, huh? Shit. Wrong way. How did that happen? Oh my god. I am lost. So, out of the uh, 75 people, no one got lost besides you. Me yeah. and five other dudes, they followed me. Why did you follow me? What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bobo if this is your first time and today it's gonna be my first time ever entering an official mountain bike race and although I am probably more suited to race uh, enduro that's where you basically pedal up you're not timed you're just timed on the downs. I chose to enter it at XC race. Yes, he did. I don't know yes, why. Yes, he did. I don't know why. I don't. Why am I doing this to myself? That's right. Today we are in Villa Rica, Georgia, at the Clinton Nature Preserve for the Go Nuts Racing Series, put on by my good buddy Squirrely Dave. Squirrely Dave, come come say hello to the to the to the people of YouTube. Hey, everybody from YouTube. Who? Hey. Love ya. He's Ronnie Dangerfield reincarnated. <laughs> I've never done a race before. So I just wanted to go ahead and get some like realistic expectations put out there. All right, here are my goals for today. Goal number one, finish the race. <laughs> that would be great. If I could just finish the race, that's a pretty good goal. I'd be happy with that. Uh, goal number two, don't puke. Goal number three, and this one is probably a little bit lofty of a goal, probably a bit too ambitious, but goal number three, don't finish in last. I am in the uh, Cat 3 men's beginner category. But not only am I not in shape, but I'm also gonna be the oldest in, in the group. Uh, so here we go. My first ever mountain bike race. Oh, I am nervous. That's right, everybody. I'm going back to the finish, baby. That's what's up. Dave loves the heat. It's number 30, everybody. Who gave Squirrely Dave a microphone? <laughs> I don't know, but he loves the 80s so much. Down, like, package, I know he's like, He's like 60. There's no one 60. here right now. There's no one here. There is no one here right There's now. No oh. All right. To the start line. Nervous? Yes. Out of my element? Totally. What's up, fellas? Uh, extra five bucks. He may wreck this guy into the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. he's got five it. Five bucks, yeah. five bucks, you got you, man. Wait, how That's tall is this guy? This isn't fair. I know, he's actually... <laughs> well, let's switch, come on, it's all... I'm racing Jeff Lenowski. What's up, fellas? Hey, how you doing? What's up, Squirrely? What's up, Bobo? Do you need that mega horn? I don't think you need that bullhorn. You don't think I need it? I don't think so. <laughs> all right, guys, I already know you guys are doing two laps today. Each lap is about 6.4 miles in length. Just be precautious of riders coming up behind you because some of these obstacles do need a little momentum to let people get around and over. So, you see somebody hot on your heels, whew, give them the opportunity to get around you if you know you're the slower one. Not to put it that way, but we're all racers. We know what's up. Why are you looking at me when, when you say I wasn't looking at you, yeah, I did. All right, guys, keeping up on 10 seconds. Here we go. 10, 9, Good luck, guys. Seven, Send it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, I have no idea either. 1. Go, go, go. Strategy number one, let them go. <laughs> cool. So I knew they were going to start fast. And I knew that was going to be very tempting to stay with them. But this is where I want to be. Now, I got advice from so many people. It's uh, almost to the point being overwhelming. <laughs> but. Paul the Plunger told me to go chill. <laughs> and at the 45 minute mark, reevaluate, let people go around, and uh, ride my own race. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna make so many of these dudes day just by letting them, I say letting them, by them passing me. I feel like that's every XC guy's dream on the trail, just to yell, ride her up. So I'm gonna be making a lot of wishes come true today. See, 
<laughs> this whole thing is just so foreign to me. I don't, don't want to get out and blow my shot at crossing that finish line. How did I prepare for this race? I didn't drink beer last night. Oh, are we on trail now? Dipping into the woods? Sweet. Woo. <laughs> okay, so first mile in and I was feeling pretty good, but if I had one regret, it's that I didn't show up a day early and pre-ride the course. Would have been nice to know what the distance of one lap felt like, and I would have gotten a chance to see what all the features were like on this trail and if they were doable. Would have really set my mind at ease, and I probably wouldn't have gotten lost. Because, uh, oh, that's right, <laughs> did I not mention? Uh, we just got lost. If we just rewind the footage here, just keep going, there we go, right, stop, wait, right there. Right there on the ground is course tape down. I didn't see it. I was hyper-focused on the bridge in front of me, went right across it and straight up this massive climb. And just fast forward up this climb, then and bam, here I am, completely oblivious and charging forward. But I wasn't the only one who made that mistake. You guys on lap two, lap three? God, I hope we're on the right course. There's people in the woods over there. I think we did go the wrong way. We went the wrong way, huh? Shit. Wrong way. Wrong. How did that happen? How did that happen? God damn it, I didn't want to add shit onto this. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, I see the races over there. Oh God, all right. And what happens as soon as I figure out that I'm lost? Well, I get dropped by all the other guys and once again, am still lost. And in a full panic, I just sprinted directly down this next descent with no idea where I'm going or where I'm supposed to be because right there was my left turn that I should have taken. But yeah, let's just keep bombing this downhill because that's, that's fun, right? Oh, I hope this is right. This don't feel right. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm lost. So not only am I lost, but I'm getting other people lost. <laughs> oh, here we got another one. I don't know if this is the right way, bro. Because I don't see any tape through here. So this must be the wrong way. I don't know, guys. Uh, that's where we, is that where we came from? I felt like I came here and then went, no, I came off of that. I'm gonna go back up this. This is, is this where we came? <laughs> We're lost. <laughs> We're <laughs> How do we end up here? Ah, oh, this is not right. The thing that makes me think that this isn't part of the race is that why haven't we seen anybody on it yet? Like you would think by now we would have seen somebody. Oh, there they, there it is. And after a little while, we finally made it back to where we went wrong. I'd added about 15 minutes to my first lap time and my chances of not finishing last in my category had all but slipped away. Oh, crap. Oh, all right, I think we're back on course. Riders coming. This is it. All right, I think this is right. <laughs> oh, uh, all right, we're back on course. <laughs> Add a little bit of distance on the lap one. No biggie. I really think I got 15 minutes of sleep last night. By the way, just laying in bed, eyes wide open, dwelling about this day. That's it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely not how I envisioned the start of my race going. And it's looking like that first strategy of just letting everybody go is really coming back to bite me in the ass. Nice. Oh, I just took a really bad pedal to the shin because it bounced off the rock. Once again, I'm bleeding. Now we're racing. Fuck. Oh my God. The pain. Oh, Woo. come on, come on, oh. where's the downhill? Oh. 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 
but are we done yet? <laughs> I, I would be so depressed to find out just exactly how far I am. I don't want to know. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Oh, that better not be a lie. <laughs> don't fuck with my emotions. So this guy that I started with just came by and said I'm almost through lap one. It would be glorious. But I also know some people just have a sick sense of humor. You gotta see. Ooh. One more, buddy. You know, I got lost right away. I got off the track in the first. So, out of the uh, 175 people, no one got lost besides you. The me track. and five other dudes, they oh, followed me. Why did you follow them in there? They, no, they followed me. Hey, Bob, I'm going to step away. Oh, oh, man. Oh, he's on his second leg. He experienced his race, though. I no, thought, think about that. I thought this was going to be Kevin's move. I thought he was going to enter the race just to heckle I me. I was going time. to, but you took a <laughs> Oh, look at the seeds. Oh, oh. oh that's discouraging. <laughs> so lap number two in chasing my buddy Corbin was really eye-opening. Once again, reiterating. Look at him just ripping. Had I only pre-rode the course, I now know I could have put in a lot more effort on that first lap. Not to mention, I can't help but wonder how things might have turned out if I hadn't gotten lost. Oh, All right, lap two is going so great. <laughs> Oh, what's your name again, dude? Corbin. Corbin? Yep. Corbin is uh, towing me into lap two. And you know he's rad. He's got Cane Creek on his jersey. Nice. Woo, woo. Woo. Wow. Ha, ha. He's torching me on his XC bike. Wow. Corbin has uh, came along to make sure this is a humbling experience for me. I already tell you my second lap could be faster than the first. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck, fuck. Oh, fuck. I am glad I wore that chamois. My ass is... I'm going to be shitting pancakes for a week. Okay. Get through that finish line. And you can drink all the beer. So it turns out having someone to chase is key. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nothing like trying to keep up to make you put in a real effort. Yeah. What? Oh. Okay. Locking in. There's a break at the top of this hill. That's all I got. Okay. Jesus. I can walk faster at this point. Ah. <sighs> okay, fuck it. Sorry that this is the disappointing truth. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's gonna get me motivated. Just focus on the alcohol. Come on. Bikes. Is Teddy still put you up to this? <laughs> Probably. Hey, when Bobo comes through, you should totally harass him. Oh. Positive thoughts. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. oh, I can feel it. The legs are feeling it. I'm good. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Nice! I can't allow you to do that. God, he's ripping. Who is this guy? Oh, God. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, feeling tingly. I got. No depth. Oh, one more. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, that's all I could do. Do the other one. Okay. Woo. 
I don't think I can squeeze that. God, I'm barely there. That was a, that was a rough one. Oh God. I really gotta get the shape. <laughs> uh, <damn>. oh. <laughs> All right, I remember this bridge. We're not far off. I don't think. Okay. Oh God. Now the legs are fucking concrete. I see it. I can see it. Oh yeah, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's it looks glorious. Oh, on your left. First time I got to say that. Woo! Woo! Huh? Where's that beer, bro? Woo! <laughs> Did I set a record? Is that the record? Someone tell me. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, bro. And your name one more time? Corbin. Corbin. Thank you, Corbin. Save the day. Hey. Hey, what's up? How'd that go, man? Much better following Corbin on the yeah, second he's, lap. He's a pretty quick little dude. Uh, yeah. So what'd you think of your first get down, man? Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it was kind of what I expected. If I would've known what the second lap would've been like, I probably should've put down a little bit more effort in the first lap. It was brutal, but I met two of my goals. I finished, I didn't vomit. I came very close. <laughs> to hey, well, yeah, but now you, you did your first race. Yeah. You got it's lost. Away. It's out of the way. Yeah. High five, dude. Hey, hey, no more pressure, you. dude. Hey, no more pressure. pressure. Yeah, exactly. Now it's time to get some beer. And this is what it's been all about this whole time. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Mmm. Get in my body. Oh, glory. Dave, Peace. thanks for putting on an awesome event. Thank as you for per coming out, brother. And uh, my first race is in the books. Uh, I learned some things. Did you get lost? I did, but I, I'd kind of like to see the results. Do you even need to look? I got the results. My man, you got two laps. Dead last? God damn it. <laughs> you finished, you I got both laps like, in. I did. 154, sick. It's not too bad. Well, I added about two miles onto that first lap. <laughs> you need to do a do-over, not get lost next yeah. time. Yeah. You finished. Though. I did. Good for you, bro. There we go. There you go. There it's in go. the book. Two out of three ain't bad. Huh, dude? Congrats. Really nailed it. I, I, did, I did all right. Uh, you, know, you know, there's a lot of people that, a lot of people that will never go race, will never try it, they'll never even see what it's about. And like, the fact that you did is like a memory that you're going to have. A lot of people won't ever have. And I can't wait to see you do more races. And I need to do better next time. Oh, dude. Are you such a sentimental, sweet guy, Squirrely? Backflip Dave is now Trials Dave? You. <laughs> Oh, oh. Squirrely. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. So what did I learn today? I learned that uh, the XC scene is very similar to all other elements and aspects of the mountain biking community that I've experienced in downhill, enduro, whatever it is. Felt really amazing coming through the finish line both times and having nothing but cheers for probably one of the last guys on the course. It's a really cool feeling, and I did better than I thought I was going to. Didn't barf, which is better than I thought I was going to do. And uh, I need I need to have a have another go. So next time I'm gonna be in shape. But this was fun. I had a great time. You know, there's always going to be winners and losers, but it's not so much about where you finish as it is about showing up and getting started in the first place. And you may get lost along the way, but eventually you'll figure it out. And when you finally cross that finish line, it truly is an amazing feeling, knowing you did something difficult, something hard, and no one can ever take that away from you. Smile. Yeah, he does. Look at that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs>